So here's the progress. Install new door, install locks. There used to be a wall right here. As you can see, the roof is a different color. I don't know if that was from smoking in one room or not in another. Anyway, so the roof actually is in good shape, but I'm, I, it's just that it's weird. Um, it's got these little stickers that hold it up. What I might do is I might put drywall over it. I don't know. Or I might just rip it down. But there was no leaks in this part of the house. But anyway, so there was a wall here, as you can see, from the carpet uh, tacks framing it out. And I removed that wall, and I put it over here to make a closet for this bedroom here. So the main living area is about 24 feet by 11 and a half. Yeah. So that's kind of a big living room, which I like. Um, what else have I done? Yeah. So I did a lot of work in here, obviously. And I tried to save that wall, which I did. I took it this wall down carefully and sawzalled all the nails and picked it up and carried it over here and screwed it in place. Of course, there was a doorway on that wall, so I had to make a uh, patch it with, you know, make a little extra piece for it. So here's what I've gotten to done today. Four bags of trash and a truck full of wood. <coughs> so I removed both closets, all the wood paneling in these two rooms. Um, those are all the two by fours that I will reuse and save because I'm cheap like that. And uh, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a closet on that wall and that'll come out about 30, 31 inches probably. And then I'm going to put a wall probably right about here. Now to make each one of these rooms about 11 feet, 11 by 11 and a half, almost 12 feet. Big rooms. And uh, yeah, so I'm working on that. And uh, yeah, I mean, got a lot of cleanup to do. It's a big thing. Still got to drop the ceiling. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and run electrical. I like the panel's hot. I, all I got to do is flip the main breaker, but I got to take out all the wiring that I don't trust and do a new run to this bedroom here. And I'll put a plug in right underneath the windows. And I'll go ahead and put box fans in the windows because this dust, it's like, it's grind up newspapers. And it gets in your lungs and irritates. Especially me, even with wearing a mask, it's terrible. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'll definitely be dropping this ceiling. That ceiling I'll leave because it doesn't have any water damage. But uh, this ceiling I'll be dropping, rewiring the plugs, shit like that. Yep, pretty good for today. I'll come back tomorrow and probably just do a day of cleanup. I don't like, I've been stepping on these staples that stick through. And my uh, foot was started bleeding because of that. I don't like stepping on things, so I'll probably just take a day and just clean up and do site prep and get ready for the next thing because, you know, it's just, you know, you don't want to get hurt. Yep. So pretty good, pretty good for about about four or five hours of work. I didn't spend all day here, but uh, I've got to go offload this at the burn pile and do a couple other things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, <coughs> that's like how I like to work. Um, when I had a job a full-time job I would have to work like 12 hour 16 hour days here on the weekends and just about kill myself and uh, now that I'm jobless you know five hours here six hours there I'm not gonna do a 16 hour day <laughs> all right guys today's goal is to do a lot of cleanup mostly and also to move those bathtubs into another room and focus on starting to frame out that first room's closet and well, I didn't get two walls framed today. I got one, but I'm happy with that. Did a lot of cleanup. Still got to do more cleanup. Gonna have to replace this floor before I build a wall. Crispy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that soon. What else I got going on here? Yeah, replace this floor, and uh, there's the text. And uh, as you can see, I dropped. I went ahead and cut the roof out right there, and I screwed pieces of wood going this way to tie into the uh, stringers so the wall can't go anywhere not that I'm gonna be putting shelves on this side of the wall that wall will have the you know closet shelves but you know, it's got support drywall so you want it to be strong and I did you a recycle two by fours and uh, yeah made them work and so yeah I got that done and uh, tomorrow I guess I'll replace this floor here and uh, frame up in our wall I've already made marks on the floor where the wall will, edge will come out to. I framed out the door uh, 26 inches and a half, and that's a little bit more than you need. It's going to be a 24 inch door, but you always, you know, rough ends always about an inch on each side, and I give it a little bit more. 
so that's good and yeah progress progress is not always fast sometimes progress is slow and uh, but I got progress done and every day if I just get a little bit of progress done, I feel good about myself you know a little bit of progress <laughs> I, this is gonna be two bedrooms that this is like 22 feet of room to this right now and part of me says hey why don't I make this one giant bedroom with his and her closet closet there and there's a closet there put the bed in the middle I don't know so this is the old subfloor it has all the cuts for the pipes and so and it's kind of rotten and so what I've done here is I've removed the segment of floor and I'm gonna put a segment here but I'm gonna leave this open because I got a patch that air duct because there was a vent in the bathroom one too many vents anyway uh, I put little pieces of wood 2 by 4 scrap uh, screwed to the lip of the other side of the plywood that way it has something to rest on there's never any sag and so I'm just gonna cut a piece to fill this area out then I'll start framing out this wall and before I frame it out, I gotta take out a whole roof segment. And uh, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> what it has for insulation is like a crushed up newspaper type lint material. And uh, it really irritates the lungs. And uh, yeah. So I wear a mask when I take that shit down. Well, I uh, got one wall mostly framed up. I replaced the floor in one area. And uh, I demoed some of the roofs some more, and so I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and go home, call it a day. <laughs> it's already 90 degrees and it's 12 o'clock. So it might be a 100 degree day today. And I really don't wanna have heat stroke. <laughs> no, I'm actually used to working in the heat. Um, I didn't get air conditioning until late in life. Probably when I was like 23, I'm 27 now. So I've only had air conditioning for five years, about four years. So, uh, I'm going to go home. i got some other shit to do. But, uh, yeah. Got a little progress done. It's just I always have to do a little progress. Something. I have to get something accomplished. And I got a little something accomplished. So, I feel good about it. And uh, tomorrow I'll come back and finish this wall. And figure out how exactly I'm going to do this door situation.